Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this specific lecture we will be building a to-do list application in react so the main purpose of building this particular application is to go ahead and revise all the concepts which we have learned until now so for this specific lecture what you could do is you could create a new project or you could even use the existing project as well and the very first thing which we are going to do here is that we are going to create a brand new component for building our to-do list application and that component is going to be nothing but the to-do component so let's go ahead and create a new file here and let's call this file as todo.js so we are going to be using the functional component to build this so let's go ahead and type in export default function let's name this function as to do and let's make this function return a basic div which says let's say to do and now for now let's go ahead and let's import this component here and let's try to display that up on the app so import that's going to be to do from components forward slash to do and for now let's get rid of the form which we have here and let's simply say to do here so if we go back to the browser, as you can see, it should say to do here. So this is all fine and good. Now in this particular application, what we will be doing is that we will be building the entire application inside a single file itself. So we will be building all of these to do items, the buttons, the form all in this one single file. And if we need, we will be making another components to render those particular to do items. So the first thing which you need to do here is that you need to go ahead and you need to create a state to save the to do items. So in order to save that particular state, first of all, I'll go ahead and create a state here. So I would say const, let's say to do. So this to do is actually going to hold a single to do item. And now in order to modify this particular state, I am going to create a function called as set to do and set to do is going to be the function. So this is going to be equal to use state and we are going to be importing use state from react. So simply go ahead and say import use state from react. And once that thing is done, now we are good to go. Now in order to add to do items to uh, to do array here, we will be actually requiring a form. So let's go ahead and create a form here and let's return that form. So inside the return statement, I'll simply go ahead and enclose the entire return inside parentheses. And over here, I'll go ahead and create a form. So I would say form. And this form is going to have an input. So this input type is going to be text because it's going to accept a text input. And for now, let's not assign any kind of value to it. And along with this, we also need to have a submit button so that we could submit the input tasks. So here I would say button and the type of this button is going to be submit. And then let's name this button as add. So if we save that and if we go back here, as you can see, we have an input field as well as a button. Now currently I could enter some text here and I could click on the submit button and the form would be submitted, but we have not yet written the logic to go ahead and kind of submit this data and add it to the to do which we have here. So this to do which we have here represents a single item. Now what we wish to do is that we wish to take the value whatever is entered inside this input and we wish to bind that value to this to do which we have up over here. So that means whatever value is being entered here should be bound to this specific state, which is to do. So in order to do that, you simply have to go inside the input and set the value of this input field to nothing but to do. So once you have assigned this value here, which is to do, what you could do is that you could also initialize the value of this to do to empty. So in order to initialize the state to empty, I'll simply pass in empty parentheses over here. So right now, if I go back here and if I try to enter some value, as you can see, this will still remain empty. And that's because right now this particular state of to do is set to empty. Now, what we wish to do is that whenever we type something into the input field, we actually need to change the value of to do. And for that very purpose, we will go ahead and assign an on change to this. And the on change is going to be nothing but a function which is going to get triggered whenever we go ahead and make a change to this input field. So let's name this function as handle change. 
And once we have this handle change function, we actually have to create that function here. So let's create that right up over here. So I would say const handle change. This is going to be an arrow function. And the reason for using an arrow function here is that we have to use an event. And here, once we have that particular event, we are going to get the value which is entered inside this input field, making use of this event. And once we have gotten that event value, we will set the value of to do to that particular event. So here I would say set to do, and I'll set the value of to do to the value of event dot target dot value. So what happens now is that if I go back to the browser and if I type something in, as you can see, the value is now being assigned to this input field. Now in the background, what's happening is that if you just go ahead, type in some value, the on change method or the on change function is going to get triggered. And this is going to trigger this handle change function, which we have created. And what that function does is that it takes every set of input, which we are passing to that input field, take that particular input and set the to do item, which is nothing but this item right here. So that means now the value of to do is being set to whatever we are entering in the input field. And if you want to confirm if that's really happening, you could actually console log the value of to do and check for yourself. So if you go back here, if you inspect the element, if you go to the console, if you just keep on typing something here, let's say Facebook, as you can see, that's going to be displayed up over here. So that means now our input field is working pretty well. Now, what we wish to do is that we wish to now make this particular submit button functional. So we are going to learn how to do that in the upcoming lecture. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.